Welcome to my time at Porsche. This is the first real day of gameplay. I've skipped the cutscene and the waking up scene. Porsche is about being a builder in a little small cartoon town and making your way. You start off with this house which has broken floor. Whoops. And it says use 10 wood to fix the gap but because I don't have any wood all I can do is close it. The blue boxes at the bottom of the screen represent my inventory. The red line represents hit points, health, which we won't need to understand until we start combat. And the yellow line indicates SP stamina points. And you, you need stamina to do any kind of work. You'll see that my stamina is 120 out of 200, and that's because of all the gaps that I need to fix. So, with that in mind, Top left, we get some hints. The glowing objects are most likely to be collectible resources. Let's gather some wood there and some stone there, and you can see them going into my inventory at the bottom. Press to see help with the escape key after it. Help, and this can tell you what the controls are. There's more detailed breakdown of the controls in this screen. You press ESC and options and input. And the mission target is marked with a star on the world map. If we press M, this is the world map, everything we've explored. That's the star. If I hover over it, the mission is go to the Commerce, Commerce Guild. I can zoom in with the mouse scroll button to get more accurate representation. And this is me. There's a mini map at the bottom right, which also shows that information. And I can see if I'm heading in the right direction or not, just by watching the mini-map while I move the mouse. Then we've got a clock telling me it's 8.35 and 1.2 Tuesday, odd date format. Nice to see you. How are you settling in? Odd date format, it means it is the second day of the first season. Not so good, I didn't sleep. Hang in there. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. I'm going to skip a lot of the dialogue. If you want to go through it yourself in the game, you can. Um, I'm going to explain things as we go. Where the organ? Now then, let me. You need to have wood, and after you have the. So basically, he's explained that this is the commerce guild where jobs are given out. We don't qualify for any of the jobs yet, which appear here. He needs two copper plates, and he'll give you 250 goals, which is the currency. 40 experience, which we'll get onto, reputation points and relationship points. We'll cover all those. But we can't get one of those because we are not yet a qualified builder. Well, how do we get to be a builder? The first mission is displayed there on the right-hand side, the builder test. Make a simple axe and a pickaxe. And for that, he also told us we will need wood and stone, which is lying around on the ground. Let's go and collect some. But now my question is, well, how much do I need? Well, there's an easy way to tell. Let's head back to the ranch, picking up everything on our way. You see that circle? That's how much running stamina I've got. I can press left shift to run. When that runs out, I have to stop running and catch my breath. This is the work table. We have icons along the top which show us the types of things we can make and then these are the actual individual items. So under weapons we've got a practice sword, enhanced practice sword and a spiked practice sword. But we can't build that yet because we've, we need 8 wood and we've got 11. We need 3 hardwood and we haven't got any. We can also build tools, there's our simple axe. We can also build equipment but it's, it's kind of more general thing than that. There's clothing there as well. Food, which can restore hit points and stamina and give you various other things. Furniture, we'll get into all that. Um, these are things which are used for building other things generally. And if you have a current mission, everything you need will just be displayed here. And I want to build a simple axe, but I don't have enough stone. I need three more stone. I could build the pickaxe. Let's build that. I just want one. 
And you can see I've now got one pickaxe and I need one for the mission. So that's good. I have zero simple axes. I need one, but I now need two wood and eight stone. So I need to go and collect some wood and stone. That's wood. Five, that's what I need. Now for stone, I've got this pickaxe now. So I can start to break up some rocks. Smash the rock. And I have collected, I'm pressing I for inventory. I have collected seven stone and one copper ore, which we'll be needing soon. Thirteen stone and one bit of marble. You can see at the bottom left that coming in. This is my mailbox. And you get letters here. Sometimes presents. Sometimes designs that you can make. And this is just basic uh, local newspaper writing to me. And you may have noticed behind me a chest. Chest comes in different colours. I'm not sure what the difference is. But you can kick them and you get something. Sometimes it's equipment, sometimes it's a book. In this case, I've got boxing gloves. And I've pressed six to um, highlight them and you can see I've put them on. And the hint at the top is telling me I can right click to dodge roll and left click to attack. That's for later. We are not doing combat for a while yet. But can I make my axe yet? I can. Look at that. Fantastic. So that's the first mission complete. You see at the right hand side, I've got simple axe one of one, pickaxe one of one. The mission objective hasn't updated. But up here it says show them to Presley. He's the guy we met earlier. And the little glowing star in the minimap is telling me where Presley is. There he is. The three dots above him tell us he's part of our current mission. Ah, or something we need to excellent do. Excellent quality. Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Hmm. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. So, we've passed the first test. He's given us a second test. To build a stone furnace. However, I'm not going to do that straight away. I'm going to check the materials I need. But more important is going to be to seal up those gaps in the floor that prevented my stamina from going all the way to the top. Every time I perform an action, like chopping, watch the yellow stamina and the number, 92 of 200. It's going down. So I'm using two stamina every time I take a single chop. And I woke up with not enough stamina. So I want to know how much wood I need to fix these holes. Three. Let's, let's just go ahead and fix it makes the maths easier. Three. Don't have enough. So three. Twenty-three. Thirty-three. I need thirty-three wood to fill the remaining gaps. So that's going to be my first important objective, is to fill those gaps. And I'm going to do that by chopping down some small trees and bushes. I'll need a better axe to chop down bigger trees. The wood comes in, goes into slot 8. I've got 7. Need 33. Okay, let's... Okay. Very early for this to happen, but it does happen. So, the skill tree. Portia and skills. In Porsche, you get experience points when you perform some actions. So if you look at the bottom left, EXP plus 40. So I got 40 experience. I've now got 80. For that one chop. And if I chop again, I'll get another 40. I have just reached my first skill point and it's encouraged me to level up. And I can pick a tree to put these into. Fighting. 
gathering or social. I'll cover these all in more detail later, but um, stamina is massively important. So you'd think reducing the stamina by 25% when I'm chopping, as you can see at the bottom left there, would be a massive advantage, and it would. And I can do the same for pickaxing. I'm going to be using a lot of pickaxing as well. This one is tree kicking and harvesting, have a 6% chance to double the loot. That's not as important. I'm not going to do much of that throughout the game. It's just not that big a part of it. Early game, we're going to do some, but it very quickly becomes obsolete. Social. I'm going to do a video on social later. For now, suffice it to say that early game, this is pretty useless. Fighting. We're not going to be doing any fighting for a while. So things like evasive action, and endurance you'd think wouldn't be all that interesting and endurance decreasing by three when dodge rolling which is part of combat indeed isn't that useful however endurance when sprinting that's that little circle I get more time to sprint that's quite nice to have but the best one Early game, in my view, is intensive training. Experience gained increase by 5%. You'll remember I was getting 40 EXP per chop. Watch now. 42. So I'm getting more experience for doing the same things. So this line here is going to fill up quicker, which is going to give me more points to fill out the rest of the tree. So I always try to fill out the um, increase in experience before anything else. I've now got enough wood to fix my floor, so let's just quickly go and do that. Or was it 33? It was 33. Ah! I had 34. All the gaps have been fixed. I'm finally going to have... So that means tomorrow, my stamina will be maximized. Yay! And stamina gives me more XP, experience, and that helps me build my skills. General rule of um, the first few days in the game, don't go to sleep if you've got stamina. Chop wood, pickaxe stone, you are going to need those ingredients. You will reset all your stamina the next day. You are just gaining experience. Just always, always use it. This is the assembly. This is the handbook, which tells you what you can build on this assembly station. You can flick the pages like this, but they get to be quite a few pages, and it took me far too long in my first playthrough to realize there's an index here. We have been asked to create a stone furnace, so we can just go directly to that. This button always throbs like that, and I often click the wrong thing. The thing I want is on this page, but this button gets my attention and I click it by mistake, so pay attention to that. So this is stone furnace, and this is a nice aspect of the game, one of the really nice bits of design, it tells us everything we're going to need. We're going to need 10 wood. And if you hover over it, we can get it from a log or from total tools. We can also get it from chopping. Any tree will give wood. We are also going to need 10 stone. We own five. And we are going to use that to craft a stone stool. We need the stool and the wood to create the stone furnace. Let's click build so that it appears here. We've got a kind of ghost outline of what we're going to be building. And we can go back to the assembly station to recap what we need. One stone stool, ten wood. Our work table, now we've got something on the assembly station, shows us what our options are here. We need a, a stone, st we have zero stone stools. We need one, but we've only got five of the ten stone required and over here we get a bit of details about the stone stool a bit of text that's um usually just um nice to read max stamina plus two hello 
all about stamina early game, I said, didn't I? When placed in your house, you will receive bonus attributes. And the bonus attribute is stamina plus two, and you can sell it for seven goals. We could also create wood, but we would need hardwood. We don't have any of that. So I press escape to come out. We need ten wood. And ten stone. But I think I'd quite like... Just wait for it. I'd quite like to make two stone stools and put one in my house for that extra stamina. So let's see if we can find some more stone to chop. I'm not sure how efficient it is to pick up wood as opposed to chopping it. Stamina getting low. There's no way I can do that one yet. No. Stone plus nine. That was nice. I've got 18 stamina left. Can I find a small stone? Mm, you're a small stone. I've got some more copper ore and I've got 20 stone. And I've got 10 stamina left. I want to use that to get some XP. I will chop some wood. It doesn't matter if you can't do the whole thing. I'll just put two strokes into that. The um, I got the experience. The stone and the trees do regenerate over time. They come back so you can chop them and pickaxe them again. Right, so, one stone stool for my project and one for me. I'm going to select the wood by pressing 8, place it down, select the stone stool by pressing 3, and there is my stone furnace. And I have to go and show this to what's-his-name. So I'm going to run up there and do that. With a bit of luck, I'll be able to get this whole mission finished before the end of the day. Presley! Great job! You pat this is your Yay. Now we just need to take this license over to the mayor's office. Come back and talk. So now we need to go see the mayor. Is he still open? He isn't. So that will have to wait until tomorrow. I've got no stamina left. What I would like to do is to create some storage because my inventory is starting to get a bit full. And that is under here, wooden storage. I need 20 wood. It's not an option for me yet. But I can take this stool, this ugly looking stool, keep an eye on the SP bar, which is flashing. It's no longer yellow. Zero of 205, zero of 207. So I've increased my maximum stamina and I'm going to get a full night's sleep. A good first day.